your clients have frizzy hair? Well, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how to solve it. First, let's talk about what causes frizz. First thing, there's cuticle damage. The cuticle layer is the outermost layer of the hair. It's the protective layer. Basically, to put it blunt, the cuticle layer looks like fish scale. When those scales lay flat and uniform on top of each other, that's when the hair is going to look less frizzy and more healthy. When the hair is damaged, you have raised scales, which allows the hair to cling together and create frizz. The next thing is naturally hair is negatively charged. The more damaged your hair is, the higher the negative charge, the more the hair wants to repel against itself. Third thing is hair structure. Uh, curly hair and wavy hair are more susceptible to frizz because of the formation of the hair shaft. And also hair that has been damaged in chemical treatments is more susceptible to frizz as well. Fourth thing is the pH balance. Hair has a pH typically of 4.5 to 5.5 and any products that you put on the hair that disrupt the pH level can affect the cuticles integrity leading to potential frizz. And last but not least, humidity. Humidity increases frizz because it gets inside the hair shaft and expands the hair shaft and exaggerates any rough patches in the hair strand, causing it to rub against the hair next to it and separate mold. So how do we solve frizz? These are three things you should know about to help you solve frizz. Number one, humectants. Number two, conditioning agents. And number three, protein. Humectants in your shampoo and conditioner pull water from the air and this adds moisture to your hair. Conditioning agents are positively charged particles that stick to your hair shaft and coat it. They form a thin layer that smooths the hair shaft and reduces frizz. Silicones are also great for coating the outside of the hair shaft. And the third thing, proteins. Proteins can help by binding the hair structure, repairing it, and filling in the gaps. However, protein is largely overstated in the market. Proteins are very expensive, so it's unlikely that the product you have has much protein added at all. So to sum this up, to get rid of frizz, you need the right level of humectants, silicones, and conditioning agents for your hair and environment. And it's important to know that those things change over time. Nobody's hair stays the same, nobody's environment stays the same. So if you made it this far, in the video, let me know in the comments below that you made it, type made it, and then also go to formulate.co slash mattbeck. I've got a free gift for the first 50 of you. You're going to get a free starter kit of Formulate products. Your Formulate chemist will work with you to dial in and adjust your dosage of humectants, silicones, and conditioning agents to finally solve your frizz problem. And even if you don't have a frizz problem, go check out formulate.co slash mattbeck. Fill out the quiz. Let's figure out what's going on with your hair. You can work with our chemists and you get a free Formulate set on us. Formulate.co slash mattbeck.